shortly. Well, wildflowers, wild animals, and an amazing wetland, but without effort, the natural beauty of one local area could disappear. That's why we sent Ryan Vetter out to the Ives Road Fen for a lesson in conservation. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Mike. How you doing? Uh, it is a beautiful day up here in Lenawee County. We're just south of Tecumseh, and like you said, we're at the uh, Ives Road Fen Preserve. And what this is is a, a natural area that uh, some volunteers are trying to bring back to its natural state. And I'm here with Mike, who is uh, the, one of the assistant directors here for stewardship. And tell me a little bit, because a lot of people don't know what a fen is. Sure. Um, well, specifically, a fen is a unique type of wetland which is fed by calcium-rich groundwater, and that creates site conditions which support a number of rare plant and animals, as well as many common ones. And the one thing I noticed when you walk I mean, it's really... It's, especially when you walk down from you know, the main road here. It's very pretty down here. You guys have done a great job. Um, and what are you trying to get rid of in this area? Right. So um, in addition to the native plants and animals, which we have here, um, there are a number of invasive plants and animals. And um, some of those are the cattails, which you can see right now, and um, the purple flowers, which are purple loosestrife. There's also some woody species, such as glossy buckthorn, and um, those are three of the main ones in the fen that we're trying to remove. And what, what is the main goal here? You're obviously trying to preserve nature, but is that, is that the main goal? Yeah. Um, so this is a nature preserve owned by the Nature Conservancy. And our mission here is to protect the biodiversity, which um, has historically um, been here, which is represented by the number of plants and animals, which we find here. All right, so you guys are doing a really good job out here. We're also going to talk to Chris May over here, uh, who is the... Uh, what do we call you, director of stewardship, something like that for the state? That's correct. Now, you do you manage all of these projects, or how does that work from the state angle? Yes, I coordinate uh, all of our restoration and stewardship activities across the state, so I have staff in different parts of the state um, and coordinate their activities. Is that a big thing for Michigan to, to keep its natural resources and, and keep preserving areas like this? Yes, it's very important for us once we acquire property, we want to maintain or improve the quality of the habitats in those areas, such as especially rare and declining habitats like prairie fens and oak savannas. All right, so coming up in just a little bit, we're actually going to, uh, we have some volunteers that came here. We're going to tell you how you can volunteer if you want to come in and uh, check it out. And, you know, we're putting these guys to work back here and uh, see they're cutting some of the buckthorn down and... You know, who, th who thought they were going to, uh, you know, be working on a Friday morning when actually the volunteering is tomorrow, but we put them to work today, <laughs> Mike. That's the power you have, Ryan Vera. That's the power you have. I am all powerful. Look Cut out. Cutting the buckthorn. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes, sir. Thank you very much, Mel.